this image of me and Zach and Daito. It is only constructed in your mind. It's not on the screen, it's not on the server, it's not in the computer. There's no orange in my shirt. It's all in your mind. Welcome to Art and Technology. I'm again joined by media pioneer Scott Snibby and artist Daito Manabe. Scott, I would love to get your definition. What is augmented reality? When I started doing augmented reality, what it meant was projecting something onto the real world. So you would take a projector and project into real space on top of people as they were moving. The type of augmented reality that I was doing and that Daito does you know, with real projections, I think has a, a very important power and honesty to it because there's a very important difference between the augmented reality that's really projected into the world and the ones that are through a phone or glasses. Daito, I'm curious how you see the work that you've created and the work of your peers influencing the future of augmented reality. How will art and how will kind of creative expression have influenced that? いや、その、やっぱ僕も今こと言ったことみたいにその全てはまあ頭の中で起きているとかっていうことで言うと、まあ最終的にはその目がね で、僕はその今大学であの、働いてるんですけど、ま、そこでやってる一つのま、研究として、そのトランスマグネ、トランスクラニアルマグネティックシミュレーションっていう it doesn't seem that there's that much of a difference between sending signals directly into people's minds without anything in front of them to stimulate them versus the experience of looking at a painting and just generating it yourself. Yes, there's technically can be no difference between seeing a real painting or having a electrically stimulated image of a painting in your head, or don't forget imagining. <laughs> Daito, if you could talk a little bit about just what you see as the the future opportunities for distribution of art. うーん、まあ、なんかでも本当に僕はなんかそういういいことだけか、いいことだけなのかどうかわかんないですけど、やっぱりその、まあ、現実世界にも降りていった時に、まあ、極端な話、自分が好きな顔に変えて喋るってい